Hello, and welcome to the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center. I am your host for this series. My name is Isakar Bay. I am the senior director and the founder of the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center. And I want to thank all of you for being a part of today's series. Um, if this is your first time joining us today, please tell us what city, what state, also what country you're listening from. Uh, we are overexcited and we are definitely uh, thankful for your presence today. Um, I want to thank a special thank you to all of you who have been uh, donating and sowing seeds to our ministry. We want to thank all of you. Uh, it's been uh, just a great asset for us, a great um, help uh, for all of the things that we have going on. And I just want to thank all of you, give you a personal thank you. Uh, those of you who are listening, you will have a chance at the end to be a part of, of that as well. And we appreciate you in advance. For all of you who are uh, helping us with your donations and your seeds that you've sown uh, into this ministry. So we want to say thank you. Um, this year is flying by. Um, we are already in the middle of September. We, uh, before you look, before you blink, we'll be in December. It'll be New Year's Eve. We'll be walking, marching into 2025. The thing that really gets me really excited and really happy. It's always about being able to create the future, uh, being able to put myself in a position to where I can lay out and begin to put into perspective the things that I want. Now, I want to tell you guys that, yes, we are positioning ourselves to uh, move in accordance with everything that's going on and we are putting our plans and we're putting our goals and everything in order. But I want you to know that you always want to focus on the end game because throughout the journey of you manifesting what it is that you're going to manifest, there's going to be some adjustments. It's not going to be exactly how you planted. it. There's going to be some adjustments. There's going to be some things that have to be moved and shifted. Uh, but the thing, most important thing is that you stay focused on your goals and on the end, the end result. And so uh, don't get discouraged. Don't throw in the towel, but stay motivated, stay inspired, uh, you know, because it's all about how you go through the journey that matters the most. For the month of September, um, I'm doing these special consultations, how does 2025 look to me, uh, uh, look for me. And so if you're interested, the link is in the bottom of the description of this, um, of this series. You can go and click the button and schedule an appointment. Um, I've been doing quite a few of them, so I just want to make it available. That just is only happening for the month of September. Uh, so you would want to go ahead and lock it in. You don't have to do it exactly in September. You can schedule it any time you want, but the, the discounted price will only be until the end of September, which is September 30th, and then it goes back to its original price. So those of you that want to uh, schedule that and want to really see what 2025 has in store, you really want to get an understanding of how things are going to be put into place, just go ahead and um, get involved in that. I also um, want to say that it's extremely important that you have guidance and wisdom, that you operate in guidance and wisdom. You know, we can't, a lot of times we want to do things on our own, and you can't, you wasn't designed to do so. You know, we have people who will help us. We have situations and circumstances. We have the community that is with us. And so I want you to know that you're not by yourself and what you're doing. Um, we here at the Temple of Enlightenment and the National Spiritual Center, we're here to help you, whatever it is that you need. Um, I, right now, I've helped about three to four people publish books within the last two months. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the most recent book is a book by uh, one of my, I call him my brother, um, I've helped them publish this book, and it came out Friday. And I just want to uh, let's see if we can get the name here. 
I want to give you guys the correct name. It's on Amazon.com. All right, let's see here. And it's the name of the book is Strengthening Your Faith, 100 Daily Devotions for Spiritual Growth, and it's by Reverend Dr. John Tillery, Jr. And so I've helped him put it together. We edited it. We got it typeset it. We did the cover. We uh, hooked it up to Amazon. He went ahead and got it published. So now he's his published author. He got his first book out. So I'm just letting you know there's so many different things that we do here at the Temple of Enlightenment. That's why you need to schedule a consultation. Get connected with me. Let's find out what your purpose is. Let's find out what you're sitting on. The ideas. We talked about this last week. I see money, right? Everybody's sitting on money. Everybody's sitting on an idea. Let's get together and try to culminate this idea that you have so we can get it together and get it manifested. Uh, So many of you have so many gifts and talents that you're sitting on and you're not doing anything with. Let's get it together and work. Um, So I've I've been working, and uh, we've been helping those out, like I said, scheduling consultations. Uh, Let's get ready for 2025. Let's uh, let's get in position. I have a lot that I want to cover today, quite a little bit. So um, I want us to go ahead and get in a comfortable space. Go ahead and relax. Just get in a relaxed, comfortable space and just relax. And I want you to take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Once again, inhale, and exhale. And once again, inhale, and exhale. I recognize that there is one infinite mind, one divine intelligence that governs all life. This mind is the source of all abundance, all prosperity, and all good. It is the creative power that shapes the universe, and it responds to the thoughts and beliefs I hold in consciousness. I know that my thoughts are seeds planted in the fertile soils of this infinite mind, and each thought is an investment in the reality I experience. I affirm now that my thoughts are powerful investments in the wealth and abundance of my life. I choose to think consciously, wisely, and with intention, knowing that every thought compounds and multiplies in in accordance with the law. I release any thoughts of lack, limitation, or fear, and I replace them with thoughts of abundance, prosperity, and success. I now think, I now, I know that as I think, so I create. And I choose to create a life filled with infinite wealth and unlimited possibilities. I see my thoughts as precious resources, valuable investments that yield rich dividends in every area of my life. I invest in thoughts of confidence, clarity, and faith knowing that these thoughts bring forth opportunities, ideas, and experiences that align with my highest good. I cultivate a mindset of gratitude, recognizing that every thought of uh, appreciation increases my capacity to receive even more of the divine's endless supply. I understand that wealth is not a matter of material acclimation, but a reflection of the consciousness I hold. And as I think thoughts of abundance, I create an inner atmosphere where prosperity flows naturally and effortlessly. I am guided by divine wisdom in all my decisions, trusting that each thought aligns with the perfect unfolding of my highest potential. With deep gratitude, I release this word into the law knowing that it is already done. My thoughts are investments in the infinite wealth of the universe, and I trust in the divine flow of prosperity that is mine now and always. And so it is, and so it is. Uh, Once again, I want everybody, if you can, uh, to just hit the like button. Um, It really helps us with the algorithms, and it helps us to become more visible. It helps us to become uh, more... uh, 
open for engagements, more people to see and to tap into this great community that we have here. So if you can do us a favor and just take a half a second and hit the like button, it will be greatly appreciated. Today I want to talk about thoughts as investments, compounding wealth through conscious thinking. Once again, let me let me read that again to you. Thoughts as investments, compounding wealth through conscious thinking. This this is a really good uh, concept here. Uh, and those of you that are listening, he that has an ear, listen. This is a great concept because your thoughts are really investments, and you get a return on your investment, a ROI, return of investment, right? A return on investment. You will, your thoughts are investments. And that's why it's so important that we understand the importance of this. Each thought I think is a deposit into the mental bank of prosperity. Each thought I think is a deposit. Every thought that you think, you're making the deposit into the mental bank of prosperity. Now, when we look at this from this perspective, we begin to understand that the power of thought is currency. Ladies and gentlemen, currency is designed to move. Currency doesn't stand still. When we think about current, we think about how the current, the water and the current, how the water moves. It doesn't stand still. It constantly moves, right? The power of thought is as a currency. It's currency. Every thought is an investment just as money can be invested to yield returns. So can your thoughts be directed to create wealth, success, and fulfillment. Yes, your thoughts can be directed to create success, wealth, and fulfillment. Fulfillment. See, everybody has to understand that in life, we always look for things to make us happy. We always think for things to make us uh, whole or satisfied. But understand that as you grow in life, listen and hear me good, you're going to want to strive for fulfillment. Fulfillment says, I am fulfilled. I am, grat- I am tapped into gratitude. I am tapped into happiness and love with everything that I have. Why? Because I've created it. But when you talk about happiness, when you talk about uh, being satisfied, sometimes those are temporary things. I want to be fulfilled. I want to be, regardless of what happens or doesn't happen, I'm fulfilled within my destiny. I'm fulfilled within everything that I'm doing. Why? Because I understand that fulfillment is an inner it's an inner thing with me. It, it doesn't matter, okay, I got the house and the car. That's great. Some of you will get the house and the car and still feel empty. Some of you will get the house and the car and get the, the soulmate and still feel alone. Now, I don't know how many people are here that haven't been in a relationship, but you can be in the bed with your spouse, with your soulmate, with your lover, and still be alone. So fulfillment is the fulfilling of that void. The fulfillment is the fulfilling of what you are not going to uh, receive from the outside. It's an inner working. Yes, I can have all the amenities in life. I can have the car, the house. I can have even the bank account full of money and still be miserable, still be uh, unhappy, still be, uh, uh, you know, broken and sick and all those things. Why? Because. We, we Here at the Temple of Enlightenment, we teach you the secret. The secret will always be to go within. Always go within and make the changes. Once you go within, you will never have to worry about doing without. Conscious thinking is like managing a financial portfolio. 
Yes, yes, your thoughts are investments. And when you start looking at your thoughts as an investment portfolio, you must choose the thoughts that will grow in value and eliminate those that drain your energy and potential. Yes, you must choose and connect and begin to choose the thoughts that will grow and release the thoughts that will drain you, drain your energy, and drain your potential. Your thoughts are a financial portfolio, which means that if, if my thoughts are a financial portfolio, that means every thought I have is a thought of money. Money chases ideas. Your thoughts are ideas. Thoughts have value. When we think about thoughts, thoughts carry an energetic frequency. A high, fre high frequency thoughts like gratitude, abundance, possibility have a greater wealth value than the low frequency, low frequent thoughts, frequency thoughts, such as fear, doubt, and lack. When you start realizing the kind of thoughts that you take into. So, for instance, you know, we're sitting here listening to this stuff, and it sounds great. And probably when you get off this call, you're going to be so amped up. You're going to be so inspired, so motivated. But sometimes when you deal with things in your real life, in reality, you have to choose with th which thoughts are you going to connect to. When things happen in life, are you going to connect to the thoughts of gratitude, abundance, and possibility? Or are you going to grab to the thoughts of fear, doubt, and lack? Because remember, your thoughts are a magnet. Your mind is a magnet, and it draws to it the very thing that it has on it. So when you are connecting to those thoughts, keep in mind that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, right? Whatever is on your mind, you're going to, be, you're going to magnetize that to you. I want to talk about the compounding effect because in the title we talked about compound, right? Just like money in the bank, positive thoughts compound over time. Positive thinking leads to exponential growth and opportunities, creativity, and outcomes. Compound interest represents the exponential growth of energy, intention, and thought over time. It is a principle that when you consistently focus on high vibrational thoughts, emotions, or actions, these energies do not merely accumulate Linear, uh, they do not they do they do not merely accumulate linear, but multiply, creating a powerful self reinforcing cycle that manifests increasingly sufficiently outcomes in your reality. These energies are consistently directed towards a specific goal, a desire and that you are able to in, that you are able to accumulate in the quantum field building a reservoir of potential focused energy the universe operates on the principle of abundance where like attracts like as you repeatedly focus on high frequency intentions such as abundance love success wealth you attract and align with similar energies this alignment causes a compounding effect. The more you resonate with a particular frequency, the stronger your magnetic pool becomes, drawing even greater and more frequent manifestations into your life. This is the compounding effect. You know, uh, compounding interest uh, is something that we learned from, um, uh, I can't think of his name, oh, man, Albert Einstein. And he talked about a compound interest, which if you're doing an investment, is something great. Um, our thoughts are investments. Just imagine if you are continuing to work with the with the those of you that are working with the thought 
every thought I think of is a deposit into my mental bank of prosperity. Just imagine you constantly thinking that thought and you're allowing that thought to go over and over again into compound and begin to gain interest. Why? Because the more you uh, connect with that thought, the more stronger it gets, the more high frequency of the energy it gets, the more energy it gets. So guess what? That energy wraps around and it keeps going and going almost like a tornado. A tornado starts off as a little, this little windstorm and then it grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And so it's the compound interest effect. So just imagine you connecting to those thoughts that will be able to allow you to do that. Positive thoughts, when held consistently, generate positive experiences, which turn, which in turn reinforce and amplify your thoughts. These create a feedback loop where each manifestation strengthens your belief and your ability to create your own reality. As, you, as your belief strengthens, your thoughts grow even more powerful, leading to larger, more profound manifestations. So, yes, the more that you are connected with these thoughts and the more you connect your thoughts to the compound interest and the bigger you start to see your thoughts beginning to manifest things and bringing things in, the more powerful you become. But guess what? It starts day to day. It starts today. You don't have to... Uh, try to create everything in one day. Take one day at a time, but start today. The spiritual law states that whenever you focus on with your intention, grows and multiplies. Intention is something that's very important. Uh, that's why in everything you do, you always want to state your intention. By continually focusing on positive, high-yielding thoughts, Remember, high-yielding thoughts, thoughts that produce a high yield. When we talk about high yield, those of you that, that are, are having an investment or having a bank account, you don't want to put your savings in a regular bank account where you're going to get 0.1%. You will want to put your money in an account where you can get 4 to 5% interest. You know, a high-yielding interest-bearing uh, account as opposed to just a regular checking account or a savings account. Same thing with your thoughts. You want to make sure that you are focusing on high-yielding thoughts. You activate the law of increase, which ensures that your mental and spiritual investments grow over time. Each positive thought of in, or intention acts like a seed that once planted multiplies and expands far beyond its initial form. Much like compound interest grows beyond the initial, the initial principle, compound interest represents the alignment of your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the divine flow of the universe, where you are in harmony with the universe's natural laws, such as gratitude, law, and abundance. Your energy compounds naturally. Now, you know, we talk about success, wealth, we talk about abundance, we talk about prosperity. Uh, I always want to keep in mind that I always make sure that I talk about gratitude because gratitude is some of the greatest things that you, some of the greatest uh, energy that you can have is when you display gratitude, when you are thankful and grateful for the things that you have, when you are thankful and grateful for the, uh, the accomplishments for where you are now. You're not complaining. You're not worrying. You're not in fear. You're not in lack, but you're expressing a sense of gratitude. How, how many of you would understand a blessing if you just uh, did gratitude, just experienced gratitude? Uh, the other day, um, uh, let me explain to you how, how it just flows. Uh, sometimes I stop by Starbucks. I'm not really a big coffee drinker, but every now and then I'll get a taste. For or I get a, a desire to go to Starbucks. But anyway, this particular day I went to Starbucks, and I don't know what made me do this, but I ended up paying uh, for the person behind me. I said I want to pay for the person behind me, and so um, I paid for them. And then, um, you know, I didn't think any anything of it. It's just my sense of gratitude. I was feeling in a good mood. I just wanted to do something to express my sense of gratitude. And um, 
I ended up going to another store. I don't know if it was AutoZone or somewhere I went to go, and I was getting ready to pay for something, and the gentleman in front of me paid for my – because at the time, I was putting myself on the, on the shelf on the uh, counter while he was, you know, getting ready to pay, and he ended up paying for my stuff. And so I was just like, look at gratitude. The ability to show gratitude to help somebody else, and you never know how it's going to come back to you. But that's what's over man soweth, that shall you also reap. But when you do it, you're not looking for anything in, in reverse because you understand the, 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 uh, the, the greatness of gratitude. You understand the power of gratitude. And so it, it's, it's just great that we are able to display that. Just as compound interest grows, more significant over time, so does your metaphysical energy you generate when you consistently focus on your intention. The longer you maintain a high vibrational state, the more potent your energy field becomes, resulting in a more significant and rapid manifestation. Imagine your consciousness as a bank account. And where every thought, emotion, and intention is a deposit, when you, consistent, when you consistently invest high vibrational thoughts like gratitude, love, abundance, success, and wealth into this account, the universe adds interest. By multiplying these energies, the interest isn't just a simple addition. It grows expeditiously. So the more you invest your focus and attention into positive, high-frequent thoughts, the more the universe magnifies and returns those energies to you, creating ever-expanding cycles of growth, opportunity, and manifestation. My thoughts are a magnet for wealth, and I draw prosperity effortlessly. I'm going to say that again. My thoughts are a magnet for wealth, and I draw prosperity effortlessly. The mechanics. I want to talk about the mechanics of conscious thinking. When we talk about the mechanics, we 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 deal with our thought patterns uh shifting from scarcity to abundance um we deal with the 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 patterns like i said we go through many of us it takes time to be able to control your thoughts you know um we some people always can say you know um I knew this was going to happen. I knew this wasn't going to work out. You know, things never work out for me. You know, we have these negative thoughts, but these are the thoughts that we need to delete and get away from, and we need to start embracing the thoughts that I am going to uh, make this happen. This is going to happen. This is happening. I am going to succeed. We are going to be okay. You know, we need to have these thoughts. Why? Because remember, every thought we deposit into our account, the universe gives us interest on it. And these thoughts are high-yielding thoughts that will produce high interest. So we have to be very mindful of our intention. Focusing on quality thoughts are important because they align us with our highest goals and visions rather than scattered mindset filled with worry and distraction. Just as a financial investor diversifies their portfolio, we need to do the same thing. We need to diversify our thoughts in various domains, thoughts of personal growth, thoughts of relationship, thoughts of career, thoughts of spiritual de development, all kind of different variations of thoughts. Thoughts are not just the fleeting mental activities. As we said, each thought is an energetic currency 
with the potential to create and transform in this material world that we that we live in. I always say this, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. By investing in high yield thoughts, you are consciously allowing your higher frequency that attracts abundance, success, and well being come into fruition. When you start to look at consciousness as a creative force, you know, I always say, and you hear me say this all the time, consciousness is our only reality. The only reality we have is consciousness. Consciousness will always be your only reality. Your thoughts are extensions of consciousness meaning that they have the power to create, to shape, and alter your physical reality. Let me say that again. Your thoughts are extensions of consciousness, meaning that they have the power to create, to shape, and to alter your physical reality. The more conscious you are of your thinking, the more intentional you become in shaping your life's experiences. Listen, by investing in high-yield thoughts, you are using your creative power of consciousness to deliberately mold your reality. This means actively choosing thoughts that reflect your highest intentions and desires, thereby directing the energy of the universe to manifest those intentions into your experience. Yes, you deliberately are molding in your reality when you are connecting when you are investing in high-yield thoughts, you are using the creative powers of your conscious mind. And that's how you begin to create the reality. Listen, this, this is so powerful because if we, can get, if we can grab this great golden nugget, if we can grab this jewel and begin to start investing in high-yield thoughts, could you imagine what our return on our investment would be? We're no longer thinking low thoughts. We're no longer thinking about thoughts of lack, of, of, of fear, and of doubt. But we're thinking of how your thoughts about success, wealth, abundance, opportunity, career, relationships, finance, money, family, love, relationships. These are the thoughts that we're thinking about. We're thinking about how can my whole family become millionaires, not just me. How can we? How can I have a family where everybody's a millionaire? Uh, uh, my children's children are millionaires. How can we? How can we get to a place where everybody in my family is healthy? Everybody in my family is an entrepreneur. Everybody in my family has multiple streams of income. Guess what? It starts, my friend, with high yield thoughts. Thought forms are energy constructs. Created by sustained thinking, high-yield thoughts, when focused upon, constantly become thought forms that gather more energy over time. Listen, this is not something that happens in one day. The more you work this thing, as the great uh, Johnny Como would say, it works if you work it. It works if you work it. Invest in creating strong, positive thought forms by repeating, repeatedly focused on thoughts of abundance, success, wealth, well-being. And if you continue to hold on to these thoughts, you may need to get a journal. You may need to write every day, I need to focus on thoughts of well-being. So you know what? Uh, Monday, I'll focus on abundance. Uh, Tuesday, I'll focus on success. I'll focus on wealth. On Wednesday, every day you take a thought pattern and you focus on it. The more you keep doing this every day, every week, every month, it begins to start to continue to be a high-yielding investment. You start to begin to gain interest because, remember, every thought we deposit, the universe gives us interest on it. Now, I want to explain real quickly when you hear me talk about the quantum field. The quantum field is a field of infinite potential where all possibilities exist simultaneously. Your thoughts act and exert that these possibilities that can allow these possibilities 
to come into reality. When we talk about how you, high yield thoughts, we focus on your observation of on the desired outcome, right? So as I told you before, when you are focusing on your outcome, you're not focused on, you're going to be able to make adjustments, which means if you're focused on the desired outcome, you're not worried about the things that are going on in, in the journey because you realize that there's going to be some changes. There are going to be some twists and turns. Um, there are going to be some major adjustments, some doors closing, some doors opening. There's going to be a lot of things that may take, take place on your journey as you get to the desired outcome. But if you continue to stay focused and continue to deposit those thoughts in, as investments, you will receive the return on your investment. And listen to me, this goes for anything. So we're talking about this from a high-yielding point of view. If you continue to operate and lack loss limitation or doubt and fear, you're going to get a return on that investment as well. You're going to get a return on your investment, whether you're thinking about abundance, success, wealth, or you're thinking about uh, uh, fear, doubt, loss, lack, and limitation. You will get a return on your investment. I often believe that by investing in mental energy and high yield thoughts, you are directing your consciousness um, and to to uh, activate the quantum possibilities uh, into the physical experience you wish to create. This process aligns your mind with creative forces to the universe, allowing you to consciously select and manifest your desired outcomes. I think it's very vital that we all, all, all of us, make sure that we have mental health, that we, we, we give ourselves, we mentally clean our minds, we mentally uh, uh, take care of our minds, and we make sure that we're mentally healthy and that we're mentally great and we're mentally motivated and mentally inspired and that we don't allow ourselves to go through any kind of mental sickness or mental uh, uh, differences or discord or, or anything like that at all. So if anybody's listening, and you are not doing well mentally, reach out to me. We will definitely try to get you help. We would definitely get you with some people that can definitely help you in whatever city state you're in. But most importantly, we do not want you to be uh, mentally sick or mentally broken or mentally inhabited because we believe that the mind is the most powerful tool that we have. And, and we believe that your mind is a magnet, and it magnetizes it to you the very things that you have. And so mental health is very important. And in this year of 2024 that we live in, mental health has definitely come to the forefront. Um, I happened to uh, sit down and interview uh, a psychologist by the name of Greg Bogart, and um, we begin to talk about he's a therapeutic astrologer, uh, and we begin to talk about how he's seen the mental illness and mental health really come to the forefront uh, in this season, um, as opposed to when he started back in the 80s and the 70s. And we talked about, uh, you know, how he's able to help people out with the mental health. You know, he's able to uh, see certain things and see certain patterns and begin to help people with what's going on. And so we want to make sure that as we talk about these high yielding thoughts, consciousness is our only reality. And we talk about all this mind power and all these great things we can do with our mind. I also want to make sure that everybody understands and is in great mental health. And so if you're having a mental health issue, definitely reach out to us, reach out to a loved one, uh, but you can always reach out to me uh, here at the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center because we believe that uh, everybody should be healthy. Everybody should be wealthy. Everybody should be of great mental health. And so we want to definitely put that out there. The The great thing also is that we taught you about mental alchemy. Right. And and those of you that are listening, we have another teaching uh, about awakening the mental alchemist within. You can go back and look at that in the archives of our channel here. 
we talked about mental alchemy, and one of the things that you you can learn how to do as a mental alchemist is you can transmute your lower thoughts into higher frequencies. So those thoughts of lack, fear, doubt, you know, some of you are listening to me and be like, oh, man, this sounds so amazing. This sounds great. Every time I get off this call, I feel like I can fly like Superman. But then when I get into my physical reality, that's when the lack, the fear, the doubt, and all of those things step in. And so now you're frozen, you're stuck. Why? Because fear paralyzes you. So it makes you afraid that, okay, I don't have this, I don't have that, I can't manifest my dreams. When you can, you can start today and you can be, do, and have all that your heart desires. The only person that can stop you today is you. You are the only person that can stop yourself. So what you want to do is you want to be able to transform those thoughts of lack, loss, fear, limitation, and doubt, and you want to learn how to transform them into higher frequencies. Those lower vibrational thoughts can be turned into the higher frequency thoughts. And so definitely begin to practice your mental alchemy. You know, um, identifying the limit, the limit, limitations, the limiting thoughts, constantly transforming them into high thoughts. Uh, uh, you know, change the thoughts about I am not enough. I am not a powerful creator. You know, I don't deserve this. This is not for me. You know, all of those thoughts that we have and begin to shift them and change them into. And, you know, one of the reasons why I keep stressing for people to come and work with me personally and get a consultation is because a lot of you are listening to these teachings every Sunday and a lot of you are trying these things. And sometimes you're getting frustrated because it's not working. You're not seeing what you need to get, but some of you don't know who you are. And so when you come to me, I begin to put you in front of a mirror and give you a level of self-awareness. Why? Because if you are an earth person or if you are an air person or you are a water person or a fire person, whatever element you are, you know how to operate now. You know how to operate out of your element. You know these different things. So a lot of you are trying to do these things and apply these things, but you don't really know who you are yet. You don't have an idea of how to operate and how to move. And so that's why it's so vital that we you know, move into this, in, into these things that, we, that we're getting involved in. You know, um, it's imperative that you know who you are and you know how you're wired. P pretty much like this. You need to know the hand that you were dealt in life. And not only do you need to know the hand that you were dealt, but you need to learn how to play that hand to win. And so when you learn how to play that hand to win, then you will be able to see things from a great perspective. You know, I've always believed that um, everything happens for a reason. There's no mistakes in life. There's no accidents. I'm going to say that again, my friend. There's no mistakes in life. There's no accidents. And I know some of you will be like, well, there's definitely mistakes. There's things that happened that shouldn't have happened. They weren't my fault. I didn't orchestrate it. I didn't do that. Everything happens for a reason. There's no accidents. There's no mistakes. What we have to learn is we have to learn lessons. We have to learn that these things are put in place for us to expand, for us to grow, for us to elevate. Um, as above, so below. As within, so without. Your eternal thought pattern reflects and shapes your external reality. when you begin to operate with the high yield thoughts, you create harmony within. We have to have that balance and that harmony from within. Understand that in, understand also that that harmony brings you into a level of alignment that ensures that your external reality mirrors your inner, your internal state. We are all walking mirrors. I tell people that all the time. What happens in your physical world is also a reality of what's happening on the inside. So you have to make sure that you are aware of what's going on surrounding you. I trust that my positive thoughts 
compound into exponential wealth. Let me, let me say that again. I trust that my positive thoughts compound into exponential wealth. You know, they say it takes 30 days to create a habit. And many of us need to start practicing what I call the daily mental deposits. Daily mental deposits. You know, since we've been doing this teaching, man, I, I keep saying this every week, and, you know, maybe some people believe me, maybe they don't, but I'm 100% serious that the level of knowledge, the information that has come to me has been unbelievable. I, I can't even tell you the stuff that I, that's coming to me. It's unbelievable because once you start focusing on the attention and you start, so, you know, for instance, this stuff that we're talking about every Sunday, I'm I'm living this. I'm studying this. I'm reading this every week, every day. So this is not something I just jump on here every week and begin to just talk about. But when you start focusing your attention on those things and start looking at those things and start working with those things, you begin to become a magnet and you start pulling in that kind of information. I start hearing stuff about billionaires and millionaires. I start hearing stuff and when I go to talk to other people about it, they say, oh, I, I didn't hear about that. Oh, you know, I didn't hear about this. But it's odd to me because I'm the one, my ears are open to it. I'm tuned in. So that's what I'm telling you. When you tap into this information that we're giving you, you're going to start hearing things and seeing things that you've never seen. But you're also going to be uh, connected to stuff that other people are not going to be aware of. And you have to be open to receiving that open to receiving that information, open to receiving uh, those connections and, and receiving those, 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 those things that come into your presence and come into your, your space that will help to elevate you and help to lift you in consciousness. Daily mental deposits. Uh, daily mental deposits can be... Um, such as, you know, morning affirmations, your visualization techniques. Uh, it can be journaling uh, to deposit positive thoughts into the subconscious mind, right? Regularly audit your thoughts, your thought portfolio. Regularly audit, audit it, which means to go through your thought portfolio and think about, all right, listen, do I have the high-yield thoughts on everything in my portfolio? Do I have my high-yield thoughts for relationships? Do I have my high yield thoughts for money, career, my family, for health? You want to make sure you audit regularly, you audit your thought portfolio to identify and eliminate limiting beliefs or negative self-talk so that you do not serve, that do not serve your financial or your personal goals. You want to make sure you consistently audit your thought portfolio and begin to remove those negative thoughts. I am a master of my mind, and I direct it towards infinite wealth. I'm going to say it again. I am a master of my mind, and I direct it towards infinite wealth, the possibility to have infinite wealth, to never have to worry about money again, to never have to worry about. Uh, and, and the reason why, the reason why I teach the money manifestation mindset series the way I do is because I want to tell you when you get money, it does not solve the problems because let me tell you what money does. Money magnifies who you are. It magnifies you. Money will magnify who you are. And so you having money and you don't have any discipline. You haven't audited your thought portfolio. You haven't uh, dealt and focused on the high-yielding thoughts. You haven't done any of this, then you are basically uh, walking around with a holes, with a bag with holes in it. Eventually, all the money, everything will be gone, but money is not going to solve your problems. You need to understand that you are 
the one that can do it. You are the one. We're not we're not here to to teach you just to just to uh, manifest money and that everything in the world will be perfect. No, it doesn't work like that. It takes more than money. Money is a tool, but we understand there's all aspects to life: relationships, love, family. We talk about wellness and health. All of those things together. You want to make sure that you are fulfilled, that you are whole, not incomplete, but whole. So we gotta we gotta make it to that potential. We gotta we gotta be able to expand and grow. We got to. Every day, my thoughts attract new opportunities for growth and success. Every day, you ought to have a new thought. Every day, you should have on your mental daily deposits, your daily mental deposits, you should be creating a new thought that will attract new opportunities and growth for success. Mapping out your mental investments. You know, here you will outline your desired outcome. You know, what are you? What is your desired outcome of, of your plan? And then you want to make sure that your thoughts are in line with those outcomes. And then you're going to create strategies to maintain those thoughts daily. You want to do the routine review and adjustments. Plan, adjust when necessary. Celebrate the manifestation of your compounded thoughts. Now, those of you that are, have gotten into stocks and all of that, um, I want to talk real quickly about overcoming thought market volatility. When we start dealing with setbacks, right, negative thoughts, external influences that challenge the positive thinking, the, 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 the powerful, the positive thinking paradigm, right? When you start um, talking about resilience, like grounding exercises, deep breathing, spiritual alignment, like we do the deep breathing in the beginning, um, you want to stay connected to your thought investments. You want to reinforce your um, your staying power, your in focused attention, your focused intentions, that when every intermediate, intermediate results are not visible, understand that the compounding takes time. Understand it. It takes time. Nothing happens overnight. And believe that what you're doing you're doing it for longevity. We're not doing this for overnight success. We're not trying to be overnight sensations. We're doing this for longevity. I choose thoughts that expand my potential and elevate my reality. I choose thoughts that expand my potential and elevate my reality. Don't you know that you have the power to choose your thoughts and that based on the thoughts that you choose, those thoughts will eat, will expand your potential and elevate your reality. Your thought style is your lifestyle. So we we have that power here. We have the power. We have the power to put ourselves in position. My mind is a magnet for success. And my thoughts are the attraction. My mind is a magnet for success. And my thoughts are the attraction. My thoughts are the currency of my future, wealth and success. I'm just I'm just gonna go over some uh, just creating some affirmations that I kind of want to put into your subconscious mind while you're listening. I invest in thoughts of abundance and wealth and success, and they yield endless returns. I am open to receiving the compounding benefits 
of my conscious thoughts. You guys, I mean, if you take what we've talked about today and start working with it, you are going to be blown away at some of the results you get. When you begin to start working with these high yield thoughts and you begin to start working with these and you continue to think of a thought as an investment, remember every thought you're depositing into your mental bank account, you're depositing a thought. Your thoughts are investments. That's why you have to be careful. I don't want to deposit a, a, a thought of lack, loss, and limitation, of fear. I want to I want to deposit the thoughts of a millionaire, the thoughts of of wealth, success, abundance, health, wealth. I want to I want to deposit thoughts of great relationships, great family dynamics, great career. The, these are the things that I want to start to invest in, these thought patterns. When you begin to look at this, we begin to see that life is 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 in a our life is in a place where we have the ability to change it. Now, let let, let me explain something to you. I, I'm in a crossroads, and let me tell you why. I it's I I believe that we have the ability to create our own reality. A lot of people don't believe that. A lot of people believe that life is what it is. I don't believe that we should be reactors to life where life happens and we react to it. I believe that we have the power to create and begin to tell life how to react to us. Life gives to the giver and it takes from the taker. We're getting closer to the election. We're getting closer to, which is, this is an election year. There's a lot of things going on. And so I see so many people are riled up and certain people are going one way and these people are going another way. And if you go this way, then you're going the wrong way. People are breaking friendships. They're not talking to family members because this person is going that way and this person is going the other way. How could you go this way? How could you go that way? And it, it just, it really throws me for a loop because in my mind, I'm like, why are you allowing this situation to put you in that frame of mind? When you have the ability to create your reality, what you're getting upset over, don't even worry about that because that's not even real. That's not even something that's going to, uh, that, that, that you need to be concerned about. The thing that you need to be concerned about is making sure that you are doing what you need to do on the, inner, on the inside. The high yield thoughts, the thoughts of investments, the compound interest of your thoughts, that every thought I deposit uh, the universe is going to give me interest. That's what we need to be focusing on. We don't need to be fighting each other. We don't need to be not talking or breaking away from others because of who they want to go with or who they believe in or what they believe. And some of the people don't even know what they believe in. They're just going with the flow. They're going about what's being told, what's being said on television. Television, the media, is the easiest way to deceive people. Listen, the easiest way to hide something is to put it right in front of you. I'll say that again. The easiest way to hide something from somebody is put it right in front of them. So that's what I'm telling you. Focus on what you want to do. Focus on your desired outcomes. Focus on what you want to manifest as we get ready to move into 2025 and begin to live your life at the highest level and become the best version of yourself and begin to pour into your family so that everybody's connected to you will begin to be the highest version of themselves. And we are continuing to grow, to expand, and to create, continue to live in our purpose and our destiny. 
And so I want to just leave that with you today in those thoughts. I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Um, once again, if you haven't done so, please hit the like button. Um, it will help us out greatly and help us uh, become more visible by raising the levels of the algorithms. I also want to thank um, all of you who are uh, been supportive thus far, supported us in the beginning, those that have been in the long run, those that sow seeds, those that send emails, those that send testimonials, those that send uh, encouragement to us and say, hey, you know what, the Temple of Enlightenment, I really enjoy your teachings, you guys are good, um, I really learned a lot. You know, those kind of things really mean a lot, and it really shows us that what we're doing uh, is really helping, and it's really people are really getting something out of these teachings. And so we, we really look forward to that. I also want to um, also let you guys know, once again, uh, we have about 15 days left in the month of September, and if you want to get that what does 2025 have in store for me consultation, uh, it's at a discounted price of only $75. Uh, you may want to jump on that and make sure you lock that in before the end of the month because after September, it will go back to its original price. So I want to make that, um, make that to you. Um, those of you that are listening, if you want to join in on our circulation, our circulation means that we believe that whatever we release out of our hands, whatever we donate, whatever we sow into this ministry, we believe that it will circulate back to us. Why? Because circulation means that it comes back to its original point of origin. And we believe that everybody who has sold into this ministry, everybody who has donated, that you will receive a 100-fold return and that everything you touch will begin to manifest and that not only you but your whole household will be blessed and highly favored. We speak it into existence, and, and that's what it is. We're asking everybody that can and will uh, that can sow a $26 seed. Um, those of you may say, I don't have the $26. I only have 5 I only have 10 I may only have 15 or 20 Some of you may say, I want to do more than $26. Whatever it is that your heart desires, uh, we are forever grateful for your donations and for your seeds that you sow. Uh, there are four ways that you can give into this organization and this ministry. The number one uh, way that you can give is Cash App, which is going to be T-O-E-S-C, dollar sign, T-O-E-S-C. Also, all of the ways of our giving are also in the bottom of the description. Uh, the next way we have is going to be PayPal and Zelle. Uh, those are the two ways, uh, two more ways that you can give, and that's going to be connected to our email, which is going to be info, I-N-F-O, at T-O-E-S-C dot org. Once again, that's going to be info, I-N-F-O, at T-O-E-S-C dot org. And then the next one we have is Venmo, and Venmo is going to be connected to our other email, which is isacarbay at gmail.com. And that's going to be I S S A C H A R B E Y at Gmail dot com. And you can look in the bottom description as well and we have all of the uh ways that you can give. I wanna thank all of you for your uh you know, your definitely your support, your presence. If you feel like this teaching or any of these teachings have been a blessing to you, please hit the share button and share it with some of your friends. Um, also, uh, we ask that you subscribe so that you can uh, be connected to us when we have upcoming things coming on, when we have things getting in place. Uh, and so I look forward to seeing you. Let everybody know we're here every Sunday, same place, same time. I want you to know this one thing, uh, that your destiny is not a matter of chance, but it's a matter of choice. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.